Today on the Bargain Game Hunter, it is 4th of July weekend. So it's time to hit up some patriotic deals and do a little game hunting. Let's do it. Back in the area, so might as well go check out. See if we can find anything today at Cash America. Let's go inside. Well, I killed it once again. Usually do, but uh, they had a nice selection of new stuff in there. And I picked up five games. I, don't, I paid 37 total, which is a little more than I normally like to pay at a pawn shop. But considering what I got, I'm not complaining. So essentially how it lines up is I got one game for 20, one game for 10, one game for five and two for a dollar. And I'm pretty sure I made money on everything if I sell them. Although one I'm actually gonna keep. Actually, there's a few I'm gonna keep. We're gonna start off with Watch Dogs Legion on the Xbox. I think I got lucky on that one because their system kept crashing when they were trying to look it up. So they gave it to me for five bucks. I trades in the GameStop for like 16. So definitely did well on that one. So I'm gonna do a nice flip, flip a Rooney on that one. Pretty happy with it. Next one is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Anime game, not a game I see all the time in pawn shops. I think it's worth like 12 or 13. It's worth a decent amount of trading credit. I paid 10 for it. So again, should make a little money at GameStop that I can use to clip. Here was the big one and I was surprised I saw this because this game is pretty new. It came out like a few months ago and I got it for 20 bucks at a pawn shop. Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. I've heard not so great things about this game. Might be a game that I'll feature on my bad game series. But I mean, it looks kind of cool. Figured I'd at least give it a shot if I could find it for cheap enough. 20 bucks is a pretty solid price, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then these two I got for a dollar each, and I'm pretty sure I did well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this next one because I don't have the hardware to play it, but I might, we'll see. Guitar Hero Live on the Xbox One. Obviously Guitar Hero games and Rock Band games are going for a pretty penny right now because a lot of people are kind of getting back into those series. So to get this for a dollar, pretty happy. I haven't looked up the prices yet for how much it's worth on eBay, so I might sell it, but I might keep it and hope I can find a Guitar Hero Live guitar. Because I did want to play Guitar Hero Live, but I haven't gotten the guitar yet. So I have the game, now I just need a guitar. And then the last one, and I picked this up mostly because it's in good shape. I do have a digital copy, but it was a dollar, so I ain't complaining. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 on the Xbox 360. Again, it was a dollar, it's in good condition. It doesn't have the manual, but I'll take a pretty decent condition 360 game that I don't own physically for a dollar. So again, 37 bucks total. Pretty solid lineup, honestly. Should be able to flip several of the games to GameStop for a nice profit. And then I'll keep a few to add to the collection. So pretty happy. Now I'm gonna head across the street to Value Pond and see what they got. Well, I had a good score already, but I might as well take a look and see if we find anything good at Value Pond. Let's go in. So they did have a fair amount of new games, which is rare. That value pond usually doesn't get a lot of new games. They had a ton of controllers in the other case as well. Maybe in the future, if I have a little more money, I might look into some of those controllers. But for now, I was only looking for games and I was only looking for pretty low prices. I originally came up with a handful of games. I was hoping to get them all for around 20-ish. And the prices they were quoting were ridiculous. Like they wanted 10 for Last of Us Remastered and 10 for Burnout Remastered. And then they wanted 15 for Hitman Season 1, which I already own that game. I bought that game several times, but they had the Steelbook. And I really wanted the Steelbook because I don't have a complete copy of Hitman Season 1. I only have a generic case for it. So I only wanted it for the case. I didn't even want the game, but I'm not willing to pay 15 bucks for a case and trading in a game for 5 bucks. sorry. So I did come away with one game because I guess they were slipping a little bit on it. I have noticed a lot of the, the pawn shops, especially like Value Pawn, has been looking up prices, which I don't know what they're using to look up prices, but... 
it's not ideal, obviously, because, you know, those of us who are trying to get deals, you know, we want games for cheap, not what they're going for, or maybe a slightly less than what they're going for. But, you know, it is what it is. I did pick up one game, though, and that was The Sims 4 on Xbox One. They only wanted five bucks for this, and it trades in at GameStop for 11. So since I'm going to be going to GameStop anyway to take advantage of their buy two, get one deal, I figured, you know, let's add more trade fodder to the fire. So I've gotten a nice little stack added, I think three games to my trade-in deal for GameStop. In addition to the two freebies that I got because they're sending me other copies of them. So I should be able to get a pretty good amount of credit and pick up some games I actually want as part of the buy two get one deal. So now we're gonna head over to GameStop and see what we can do. All right, last stop of the day is GameStop. I have a bunch of trading credit that I'm gonna be getting plus $5 reward and a bunch of deals. So let's see what I can get. All right, so a successful one at GameStop. I ended up getting $65 in credit for all those games and was able to pick up a grand total of 10 games for that. So before I show you what I got, I did want to mention that I took advantage of two different promos in order to get all these. The first was they had a promo going this week that was buy five games that are worth $5 or less and get them all for $2. So essentially you get five five dollar games for 10 bucks total. And the nice thing was usually GameStop doesn't have a great selection of cheapo games, but I found a decent selection of them. They actually had five different cheapo games that I don't have in the fiscal collection that I think were pretty decent. So to get them all for two bucks, technically get them all for nothing. I'll gladly take that. And then the other was, of course, for 4th of July, they're doing a buy two, get one free deal. So I took advantage of that. I got one game for $30 and the other two were 25. I had three $25 games, but one of them they didn't have the disc for. So I got a different game instead, but I think I'll be happy with the, with the selections. So we're gonna start with the cheapo stuff. So the first game up is Agents of Mayhem on the Xbox One. Corey has a copy of this. I do not. I haven't played it. I heard it wasn't amazing, but for $2, I'm not going to complain. So I think that was a solid pickup for the price. And it's complete, so that's pretty nice. That's the only complete one of the cheapo games. So... You know, but that's fine. Again, two dollars. I'm not gonna complain about any of these. Second, we have Outlast Second Contact on the PS4. Outcast Second Contact. Sorry, I I don't really know much about this game. I thought it was Outlast. It's actually Outcast. I'll have to do some research in it. But again, I mostly was just picking out stuff that was not a bad sports game for two dollars, just so I could take advantage of that deal. And again, I think I did pretty well with what I got. The third game is Faraonic Deluxe Edition on the Xbox One. Faraonic. Again, have no idea what it is. I'll find out, but it was $5. So it qualified for the deal that I picked up. Next up is Styx Shards of Darkness on the Xbox One. I think I have this game digitally. I believe it was a Games with Gold game, but now I have a physical copy. And again, you know, I wanted to pick up something that wasn't a sports game. So even though I have a digital copy, it's worth owning physically. And then this one was the one I was probably the most excited about picking up just because I traded my physical copy in a long time ago. And yeah, it was Games with Gold, so I have a digital copy of it, but I like this game so much, I wanted a physical copy. I wish it was complete, but you know, I'm, I'm happy that I have a physical copy again. Sunset Overdrive on the Xbox One. Again, disc only, but I do have a copy. Of course now, Insomniac is a studio that is now owned by Sony, so they will never make a sequel for Xbox for that game, but maybe eventually on PlayStation they will make a sequel to Sunset Overdrive, which I will gladly play because the first game was really good. All right, so these next three games are the games that I picked up as part of the buy to get one free deal. All right, so as you can see, I am back at home. As I was filming my recap of the stuff I picked up at GameStop, the bus pulled up, of course. So here I am back at home to reveal the rest so we're on the buy two, get one free deal from GameStop. And I'm pretty happy with these pickups. All three of these games at some point in time, I was interested in. I happened to find them all for the right price. 
Again, I paid basically $5 out of pocket because most of the uh, games that I picked up were picked up with trade credit. One was a little more than I wanted to pay because the original game that I picked up, they didn't have in stock for some reason. Apparently they were saying that one of their new employees accidentally sold the wrong game. So it is what it is, but I picked up three games that I think are pretty good quality additions to my collection. So we're going to start off with Kronos Before the Ashes on the Nintendo Switch. That's an RPG. Looks interesting. Sounds cool. I always enjoy a good RPG and you know it's nice to have stuff like this on the Switch just because that's not a platform that I have a ton of like epic RPGs on. So this was $24 in credit. So not terrible. Next is the game that I paid for out of pocket. It's a game I wanted. I wish it was a little cheaper, but you know, I think I did okay with it. We have Dangerous Driving on the PS4. If you don't know what this is, it's essentially a spiritual successor to Burnout, since EA won't make a Burnout. They're most cowards. Instead, a company called Three Fields Entertainment, who consists of a lot of former members of Criterion, the developer who made Burnout, decide to make their own. So apparently it's like a bit more like low budget than a real Burnout game would be, but... I've wanted to play it for a while, and now I have a copy on PS4. And then this was the big one. I originally picked up a bunch of games that were cheaper, like I was gonna do like a $15 bundle and a $10 bundle. But then I saw this and I thought, you know, I've wanted this for a while. I just so happened to trade in one of these games <laughs> recently, and I had to pick it up. So I found the Quantic Dream Collection on the PS4. This is a collection that includes Detroit Become Human, which I just had and traded in. It also includes a PS4 version of Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. So now I have all three of the big Quantic Dream games that were exclusive to PlayStation and paid nothing out of pocket for it. So pretty happy. So overall, if, if you include the Quantic Dream Collection as three games, I picked up 10 games from GameStop for 60 bucks. Plus I put an additional five bucks down on my Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword pre-order. So that's also nice. So less money for that later on. So yeah, I think I did pretty well. Picked up some good games pawn shop hunting today, as well as a bunch of games at GameStop for trading credit. Happy camper. On to the rest of the week. All right, well, I happened to get a package today from GameStop, and this is not the package that I was expecting to get first. I actually made a GameStop order, I think it was on Thursday or Friday, so it wasn't that long ago, to once again take advantage of that buy two, get one free deal, because why would you not? So I ended up picking up four games. Three of them were in the buy two, get one free deal, and one of them was brand new for a really good price, and it's one I've been looking to grab for a while. So again, I have not looked at these. I'm gonna pull them out game by game, and we're gonna see the condition. This feels like a PS4 game, and it feels authentic. No, it's a PS3 game. Aha, The Godfather 2 on the PS3. I have never played The Godfather games. I've heard they're really good. Uh, basically, they are a GTA clone made by EA, but based on the movie The Godfather. Apparently it did so well they made two of them. This is of course the second one. I need to pick up the first one just so I can play both, but this was available on the website for 15 bucks. So I figured, you know what, let's just go for it. And to get a complete PS3 game, pretty happy with that. So solid first start. All right, next game. This one also feels complete. All right, <clears throat> we got Man of Medan on the Xbox One. I have not played Dark Pictures Anthology yet, and I know I should because I'm a huge fan of the Until Dawn game from Supermassive. I just, I don't know why, I just haven't, I heard it wasn't amazing, any of them so far, but I figured, you know, for a deal like this, I might as well pick the first one up. So here's the first one, Man of Medan. I might try it out, maybe for Halloween this year, we'll see. So there we go. Complete game, everything looks good. So, so far we're two for two on complete games. Are we gonna be three for three? That one doesn't feel new. It might not be. All right, here's the third one. Nope, we have a generic case, folks. Everybody's Golf on the PS4, disc only. It's got a, oh, this is a red box copy too. Uh, I heard it's a fun little arcadey golf game. And I mean, I just got Mario Golf, so I figured might as well get a PS4 golf game. So everybody's golf, it's a generic case, but you know, what can you do? 
in the last game, and this one was supposed to be new, and it might have been just their last copy, I'm assuming so, but it's not shrink-wrapped, which brings me concern. But it is a game I've been wanting for a while, and now I finally have it. Oddworld Stranger's Wrath HD on the Switch. I always wanted to play Oddworld Stranger's Wrath on the Xbox back in the day, just because it was a, a strange, quirky, first-person shooter. It just looked fun. So now I can play the HD version on the Switch. So pretty happy with that. So four games, three of them were complete at the very least. One of them was not. So overall pretty good. Honestly, I expected Godfather 2 to be the one that was not complete, but I mean, I'll take the fact that it's a complete game. So overall pretty happy. I wish every everybody's golf was complete, but can't get everything, I guess. All right, so it's time to go over our final recap for everything that I picked up over July 4th weekend. We got quite a stack, actually, a lot more than I expected. So we're going to start with Cash America. Now, of course, there are a bunch of games that I traded in, and I already talked about those, so I'm not going to go over the ones I traded in again, but I'll go over the ones that I kept. We're going to start off with the biggest game of the Cash America lot, and that is Werewolf the Apocalypse. Earthblood on the Xbox One. So one thing that's interesting is this is a example of a game that has two different versions. They have a Xbox One version and then a Series X version. This is the Xbox One version. So I can play it on my Series X, but it is not a next-gen game. It's a last-gen game. And what's interesting about it is for some reason... The last gen version is more valuable than the next gen version. Maybe it's because it's playable in more systems. I'm not really sure. I paid $20 for this, which is more than I normally like to pay for a game in a pawn shop. But this is a very new game. It came out like a couple months ago, so it's pretty new. And it's worth $40. So definitely a good pickup. I want to try it probably for my bad game series because I heard it's not very good. And if I hate it, I can trade it in for almost the entire amount back, or I could flip it on eBay for probably more than that. So I figured it was a good pickup. Next game is Guitar Hero Live on the Xbox One. Again, I don't have the guitar for this game, so I can't technically play it. If I had it, I absolutely would because I was always curious about Guitar Hero Live as to how good it was. I heard it was okay, but I don't have a guitar, so can't play it, sadly. But I only paid a dollar for it. It's worth 20, so I did pretty well. I have it listed on eBay, so if it sells, great. If it doesn't, maybe I'll try to track down a guitar. But right now, I'm going to keep it on my eBay store and see if it sells. Next up, we have Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 on the Xbox 360. I mostly grabbed this one because I don't have a physical copy, and it's in really good shape. It doesn't have the manual, but the disc is in good shape, the box is in good shape, and uh, Corey actually has the first game physically, so now we have both. I only paid a dollar for it, it's worth 11, so solid value there, I feel. Moving on to GameStop. So I have a couple different pickups from GameStop. First, we have an online order, which I went over already. Uh, and then we have a in-person order. So I'm gonna go with the online order first. We're gonna start with Oddworld Strangers Wrath HD on the Nintendo Switch. It's It was technically new, but there was no seal and it was already opened. So I guess it was a new copy. They just didn't bother sealing it. But I only paid 12 bucks for it and it's worth 16. And this is a game I've been wanting to play for a long time. So I think that's a solid value for solid looking game. Next up, we have the one game that was not complete for my online order. That was Everybody's Golf on the PS4. Uh, this game looks interesting. It's like an arcade golf game. Now I know I just got Mario Golf. So now I have another golf game, but I heard it was good. Apparently it's like kind of the spiritual successor to Hot Shots Golf. And, and ironically enough, Hot Shots Golf in the UK and Europe is named Everybody's Golf, which is interesting. But I paid 15 bucks for it because this was part of the buy two, get one free and it's worth 10. So I lost a little bit of money on this one, but looks like a solid game. And I think it'll be a nice addition to the collection. Next up, The Godfather 2 on the PlayStation 3. Again, trying to bolster that PS3 collection now that I have a PS3 and can play games on it. I always wanted to play The Godfather games, never got around to it, 
But now I have the second one on PS3. I just need to track down the first one on preferably PS3. I do have it on Wii, but I doubt that's the ideal way to play this game. This one I paid $15 for and it's worth 18. So this one actually has some decent value, which is pretty cool. And then the last game I picked up from that deal was the Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Madan. This game is on Game Pass, but I wanted to have a copy in case it comes off of Game Pass, which it probably will at some point. Uh, it's made by Supermassive, the same team who made Until Dawn. I heard it's not nearly as good as Until Dawn, but I mean, I still want to play it. It looks fun. Now, this was a freebie, so I didn't pay anything for it. It's worth nine. I think that's decent. So now we get to the GameStop haul. Now this was what I traded all of those games I picked up at various locations for. And I also did want to give a little update. So I mentioned when I was trading in the games that I was getting a second copy of Gears Tactics sent to me, which is why I traded in the one that I had. Well, I'm pleased to say that the second copy that I got was sealed. So now I have a sealed copy of Ori and a sealed copy of Gears Tactics which is exactly what I wanted. And another copy of Katawaga Jet Girls. So I actually have that listed on eBay. And if it sells, then that pays for the whole lot. And I got the whole thing for free. So pretty nice. We'll see, hopefully it happens. But I also got some trading credit for those games. Now for this deal, I ended up doing essentially two different deals. I have the buy to get one, which is the big deal. And then they were also doing a deal where you can pick five games that were priced at $5 a piece for $10 total. Now that one's kind of hard to take advantage of mostly because usually the lineup of $5 games is not particularly great, especially because usually it's going to be like a bunch of sports games. But I tracked down five games that were not sports games that I did not own in my collection and I paid two bucks each. Pretty happy with it. And of course all of this was trading credit. so. I didn't pay a dime really for any of this, which I'm pretty happy with. So the first game up is Agents of Mayhem on the Xbox One. I know this game is not amazing, but you know, I figured I'd grab a copy just so I had it. Uh, two bucks, this one is worth five bucks. So a little boosted value, not huge, but that's okay. Baryonic Deluxe Edition on the Xbox One. I haven't heard of this game before. Paid two bucks, it's worth six even in loose condition. Based on the appearance, it looks like some kind of like two, like, I don't know. I really don't know what this game is, but I'm like, hey, it's two bucks. And it's one of the few games I can add to the bundle that makes it work that is not a sports game. So I'll take it. Maybe I'll find out someday. Next up, we have Styx Shards of Darkness. Another game I have, games of gold. But I figured, you know, if I could get a physical copy for two bucks, why not? This one is worth six as well, so another decent bump in value. Next up, Sunset Overdrive on the Xbox One, a game I did used to own a physical copy of. I traded it in because it was a game with gold, and I regretted it because it was a day one edition. Now I have at least a physical copy of it again. I doubt they'll remove it from Game Pass, but if they ever do, I have a physical copy. Paid two, this one is worth, I believe, five. Yep, five. So last game, and it's funny because I thought this was Outlast originally and I was wrong and I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we have Outcast Second Contact on the PS4, some sort of sci-fi game. I don't know much about it. Paid two bucks and it is worth eight. So this one is actually the best of that bundle. It's actually worth almost as much of the entire bundle by itself. Five cool little games to add to the collection for two bucks each. Not gonna complain there, but here's the big bundle. And this was honestly the bundle that I think I did the best on in terms of games I've wanted to play as well as games that are pretty decent value for what I paid. And what's funny is when I was talking to the employee at GameStop, they told me that apparently all three of these were just put out that day. So I very quickly scooped them up. And of course he even commented like, yeah, I'm not surprised you grabbed those considering they were brand new and we just put them out. I'm like, oh, okay. So the first one we got is Kronos Before the Ashes on the Nintendo Switch. It looks like a cool action RPG. I'm always down for more of this type of game, especially on the Switch, so I can bring it on the go if I want to. Paid. 25. So these were all $25 games, essentially. Uh, paid 25 for this. It's worth 26. 
not terrible. I'll take it. It's a game I've been looking at for a while, and I figured, you know, might as well pick it up. Next, we have Dangerous Driving on the PS4. This was the game I subbed in because the first game that I got, which was, I think, Tales of Vesperia, they did not have. They had the box for it, but not the game. So I actually had to pay five bucks out of pocket to add this game because it was $30 instead of 25. So I did pay like 4.98 or something out of pocket for this. Uh, so I paid five bucks technically, but it was 30 total. It's only worth 15. So I technically lost some value on this, but it's a game I've wanted to play for a while because it's essentially a spiritual successor to Burnout and it looks fun. And again, I essentially paid five bucks out of pocket for it. So I'm not complaining. And then this was the best score of the entire lot. And I, as soon as I saw this, I had to completely pivot my plan for picking up games. Cause I originally had, I think a, a three $15 games. And then I was going to grab some $10 games. As soon as I saw this for 25, I'm like, well, I have to grab it because this is something I've been wanting for a long time. And I'm glad I got it. The Quantic Dream Collection on the PS4. This includes three games. It's got Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls on the PS4. So granted, I do have Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls on the PS3, but now I can play them on the PS4. And I just traded in Detroit because I wanted to get this collection. And now I have this collection, so I'm pretty happy with it. This was free, so I got three games for free, essentially. And it is worth 24 so solid pick up there. So yeah, that's everything I got this 4th of July weekend. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a solid haul. All really nice games to add to the collection, plus one that I can flip. I think I did well. Pretty happy with the results. And uh, we'll see where the next couple weeks takes me. I do have a couple online orders that are going to be the highlights of the next video. But I think for now, I'm pretty content with how I did. So that's going to do it for this episode of the Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this series, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. We're dropping new gameplay videos from a bunch of different series, including co-op theater for Halo, playing Fast and Furious Crossroads. We're playing a whole bunch of games. So if you want to see more gameplay videos as well as more game hunting videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. Also follow me on Twitch at Big C TV. I stream stuff on there every now and again, so check it out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Bye-bye.